Hello and welcome to the Learning Lab Class Podcast 101. My name is Melissa and I'm one of the adult and teen services librarians at the Arcadia Public Library. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Spotify app on an Android device. So let's get started. This app is available on both Apple and Android devices. It looks pretty much the same on both devices. So if you have an Apple device, this video will still be of use to you. Your download store will just be a little bit different looking. Um, but besides that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, another quick note, your Android device and my Android device are going to look a little different. We have different things in our accounts, but they will function generally the same way. So first step to getting a new app is heading over to the Play Store. So I'm going to click on that middle icon in the top row, go ahead and open the Play Store so that I can search for the app that I'm looking for. So right up top is the search bar. I'm going to go ahead and click in there and start typing. And it is going to, and I clicked on the magnifying glass to execute the search. And I found the app that I'm looking for. So the next step is, is I'm going to want to click on the green install button on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to take just a minute to download it and install it. It The amount of time it takes will depend on your mobile device. Uh, if it's a phone and it's using cellular data or if it is a tablet and it is using Wi-Fi, um, it will get it done, but the amount of time will be slightly different. All right. And so we see that it has worked because now it shows up with a green open button instead of an install. So I'm, instead of launching it from here, I'm gonna go and click home and end up on my tablet's home page. And I don't see the app that I just downloaded. So I'm just gonna take a look around. Oh, it's on this other page. So sometimes when you download an app, if you don't launch it straight from the Play Store, it has downloaded to your device. You're just maybe going to have to look at the different pages to see where the icon ended up. The app is downloaded, but you may need to just find it. So you can also always look in your apps menu that will have everything that's installed on your device. So I see that Spotify there right in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So in order to use this app, you need to sign up for a free account, which is what it's showing on my screen right now. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I will be back in just a second. Okay, so when you open the app, you're going to end up on the home page. And this is just one of the ways in which you can browse this app to find podcasts that you might be interested in. As you may know, uh, Spotify also has music. It is not exclusive to podcasts. A lot of the other apps, in fact, all of the other apps that we have looked at in this class are just for podcasts. And Spotify is different in that it also has music. So the way in which that you can search is by going down to the search option, which is the second option on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and click search. And you'll notice that um, it has a bunch of different options here, but I'm gonna specifically be focusing on podcasts. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that browse all podcasts button. And this looks a lot like a lot of the other apps in that it has lists based on topics that they that Spotify has put together. So these two lists about Earth um, are specific lists that will change. Down below the list, there are categories that you can browse. Some of them are genres, some of them are other lists like charts. I'm gonna go ahead and open the originals and exclusives category to take a look at what is available in Spotify that is not available in other podcast apps, just to give you an idea. So all of these are podcasts that are exclusive to Spotify. So they are categorized by lists and by producers. And so we can just take a look around. I, let's say that I am interested in this Brene Brown 
Dare to Lead. I'm going to go ahead and click on the cover of that. And right up top, it has a little description of the podcast where I can also, I can see a longer description if I want. And then right under that, there is a trailer. And then below that are all the episodes. You have the ability to sort it in different ways um, based on date, reverse chronological, chronological, whatever works best for you. You can also filter it if it is something that you've interacted with before, if you want to look at just the unplayed episodes or the ones you have downloaded to your device. I'm going to leave it as it is and just back out of there. So if I click on this individual episode, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It's going to bring me to the page for that episode. It's going to give me a description and then the cover art and then some suggestions about other podcast episodes or podcasts that I might be interested in listening to based on my current choice. So a couple other buttons I want to bring your attention to here. On the left hand side, there's obviously the play button. We will get to that in a second. On the right hand side, there is a downward arrow and that one would allow you to download this to your device. And then the circle with the plus sign that adds it to your episodes. So we'll take a look where that ends up in just a second. But let's go ahead and hit play so that I can show you what that looks like here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I don't want to cast to a device right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. And so it just starts playing right down here on the left hand side. I have the option to go forward 15 seconds or backward 15 seconds. So if there was a podcast that you were interested in, Spotify also uses the language of follow and unfollow as opposed to subscribe and unsubscribe. But if this is something that I wanted to continue to listen to and know about new episodes, I could go ahead and click follow on the top here. It gives you some uh, additional menu options when you do that. Um, you can unfollow and you can also get notified of new episodes. So if you wanted to get those notifications, you could toggle that option on. So now that I'm following this podcast, let's go back to the search and search for something more specific. So I'm going to go here and look at search instead of browse. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to try searching for something. Great. So it looks like the thing that I'm interested in is this first result. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it brings me to the podcast page where I can follow it. And if I wanted to download any episodes. Great. So let's take a look at where all of these followed podcasts go, where all these episodes are, all that fun stuff. So on the left hand side, you'll want to navigate to your library. And under your library, it always defaults to music. Like I mentioned at the beginning, Spotify has both music and podcasts. So you're just going to want to go over to the podcast tab. And on the podcast tab, it's going to have all the episodes uh, in reverse chronological order for the podcast that you currently follow. Then next, it's also got a downloads tab. So if I had anything downloaded to this device, this is where they would be. And then also shows. So I'm following these two shows. And it's an easy jumping off point to get to their podcast pages, etc. So I'm just going to go back to episodes and you'll notice that right up top there is um, this playlist that is called your episodes and that's because I have added this dare to lead episode to my playlist. If I unclick that and unclick it again, it will disappear. So now I do not have a playlist um, called my episodes. You can use that if you would like. You don't necessarily need to. Um, so that's about it for the Spotify app. In this video, we covered the basics of navigation, searching, and listening to a podcast within Spotify. This is the last video in our Learning Lab class, Podcast 101. Thanks so much for joining us to learn all about podcasts. Feel free to leave us a comment below or reach out to library staff if there's anything that we can be of further assistance with.